kind of ironic that the same people who seem to think that women can't be funny still seem to think that that sandwich joke's hilarious. The lighting in this video is going to be really weird. Holly Ray said a lot of what I would have said in her video yesterday about pointing out the problems that women face in trying to get into comedy and trying to make a place for themselves. And I definitely agree that I think the best thing we can possibly do to support female comedians is to support female comedians. <laughs> I also think that online video has huge potential to be a sort of a more open field for women who want to get into comedy. Obviously it still has really problems with things like online harassment, but provided you've got access to a webcam, then you can put your content out there and build your own audience and you don't have to worry about trying to get TV panel bookers to actually take you seriously and give you that one spot per show that's available to non uh, white straight men. And predictably Holly's video also received comments along the lines of, you know, women just aren't that funny, it's just biology, it's the fact of the matter. And that the real problem is us humorless feminists getting our burnt bras all twisted about rape jokes and so on. But the problem with sweeping statements like women aren't funny or even rape jokes aren't funny is that they presuppose this objective idea of what is and isn't funny which just doesn't exist. Comedy is a highly subjective thing. Some people find slapstick hilarious, other people like a play on words. Some people prefer loud, aggressive, brash humour, others prefer a more dry, subtle sarcasm. And yes, sadly, there are people who think rape jokes are funny and genuinely find them hilarious. When you say women just aren't funny, what you're actually saying is you don't think women are funny. And that says far more about your own prejudices than it does about the skill of female comedians. Humour is a matter of personal taste, but if you do want to talk about the fact of the matter, there are some scientific principles behind why we each find the things that we do funny. One of those principles is about superiority. We find jokes funny if they make us feel superior. For example, by playing into known stereotypes about another group or by making fun of someone in a position of power. So if men are the butt of the joke, then women are more likely to laugh and vice versa. If women are the butt of the joke, then men are more likely to laugh. Worryingly though, experiments have shown that this type of superiority humour can have real effects on how we see the people who are the butt of the joke. This type of humour reinforces those negative stereotypes which are the reason why we find the jokes funny. So if you're regularly hearing jokes about how women are all nagging, over emotional and just not funny, then you're more likely to think that women are nagging, over emotional and just not funny. And worse, if you regularly hear jokes about how women are partially responsible for their own sexual assault, then you're more likely to think that women are partially responsible for their own sexual assault. And these types of jokes can also affect the way people see themselves. Hearing negative stereotypes reinforced about yourself makes you believe those stereotypes and makes them true. So with this in mind, let's go back to why feminists have a problem with rape jokes and sexist and homophobic and racist humour. And I am also quickly going to put a trigger warning here since we are going to be talking about rape jokes. There's a quote that's been doing the rounds on Tumblr recently which brilliantly relates to this that says, one of the worst ways to stop someone from telling sexist jokes is to tell them that the joke isn't funny. They'll assume that you're just humourless and that they need to save the good stuff for the right audience. If you really want someone to stop telling sexist jokes, you need to tell them, I don't get it, and then step back as they try not to say, it's funny because women are stupid. The problem isn't that feminists have no sense of humour. The problem isn't even that feminists have a different sense of humour to you. Nor is it that we're offended, considering that offence is such a subjective term and it's so easily brushed off in these arguments when people say, oh well, comedy should be offensive, comedy shouldn't have any taboos, it should be able to talk about anything that it wants to. The problem that people have with sexist and racist and homophobic and transphobic humour is that they reinforce these damaging and dangerous cultural narratives that cause real harm to the people who are the butt of the joke. And with rape jokes there's even more to it. Because when you tell a rape joke to even just a handful of women, the chances are that one of those women has experienced sexual assault or attempted sexual assault. And you just reminded them of one of the most traumatic experiences of their lives. That's nothing to do with causing offence or pushing back the booze. That's causing another human being real pain. And people who say, oh, we need to be able to laugh about these things to work our way through. Yes, and being able to laugh our way through trauma helps us to overcome it. But the way to do that isn't to make a joke at the expense of a survivor of sexual assault and force them to relive a traumatic event. But the way to do that is to make jokes that actually make us stop and think and question why 
there is this pervading cultural narrative that says if a woman's been drinking or if she's sexually dressed, then she's asking for it. And actually make us think that, oh, wait, that, that doesn't actually seem right. Not jokes that reinforce that that's just, oh, it's just a laugh. It's just lads. It's just lads being lads. That everyone does it. That it's just a bit of bands. It's just a joke. Because when questioned, around 1 in 20 men will admit to rape or attempted rape, provided the word rape isn't used in the description. So instead they'll say things like, have you ever forced someone who didn't want to have sex with you to have sex with you? And they'll go, yeah. That means that if you're telling a joke to a room full of men, chances are that one of those men has attempted to force someone to have sex with them against their will. They're an attempted rapist. And you just confirm to them that that's fine. As usual, I'm gonna put a whole bunch of links in the description, links to that relate to what I was saying about the harm that sexist humor and rape jokes can cause, as well as some links to some of my favorite female comedians, both on YouTube and off in the wider world. And some links to some shows that are happening in Edinburgh at the moment if you are visiting the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, which sadly I am not doing this year. I've also decided that I'm going to try and start putting videos on my own channel. You know, I'm already putting up videos late here, so I might, might as well put up videos late somewhere else too. Um, so yeah, if you click, there'll be a link in the description if you want to go and subscribe to me there, and I'll stick the one video that I've got up at the end here, which is I guess kind of a comedy video, uh, for you to go and watch that if you want to, you can click uh, here at the end. Uh, and other than that, I will see you next Monday, and it will be Monday! Yeah! Bye!